Mission five, here we go. We are still on mod six, the frozen planet. Uh, so we still have that frozen rule where you can move an extra D6 inches, but if you collide with anyone or anything, you will be bounced one inch in a random direction and are stunned. For this particular map, we have a large section of ice, so what I'm going to do is movement on this ice. That extra D6 inches of movement is compulsory. Um, now that could, that could allow a quick movement across the bay here, across the ice, but like I say, it's completely random, it's D6. Uh, in terms of deployment, we are up against three Unity Grunts. We have a Grunt here with a military rifle, another Grunt here, military rifle, and the last Unity Grunt with the plasma rifle. I know he's, he's using a heavy weapon here, but I wanted to use a different figure with a different weapon for the plasma rifle to denote the Speculist. Um, I didn't go with my idea of using the same figures as last battle because those are kind of generic mercenary, generic soldiers and in Five Parsecs from Home the unity is kind of like the the Imperium in 40k or um, oh, I can't remember what the name is but in Firefly and Serenity the, uh, the sort of power in charge Uni unity is like the power in charge of this part of the universe. So I, I decided to actually do um, dedicated models for the Unity Grunts. So I use these guys and <laughs> thanks, I think it's the game designer, he came up with a bunch of, of miniatures that he painted up as Unity Grunts and he used red and grey as the colour scheme. So kind of it's, <laughs> I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's canon or or what, but I, I felt obliged to kind of follow his colour scheme and I hate painting red. Oh, red and yellow, they're such a nightmare to paint. So you'll have to excuse my miniatures, they were kind of painted in a rush. The red didn't come out very well, but anywho, uh, military rifle, military rifle, plasma rifle. Now, in this mission, we are doing the objective eliminate a random enemy is going to be my target. I've got to try and kill them. If they bail, if I kill somebody else and they bail, I've got one turn to kill them, otherwise I fail the mission. So it's not as easy as it sounds. And I am outnumbering them. I did roll quite low in terms of the numbers. There's only three of them. But the, uh, the mission did have a deployment condition where basically it's a small encounter. So... So Khan isn't available for this, here was the random person missing, so I've only got five people. So here, I don't know whether you can see them with the camera, but behind the vehicle here, this is Hero with his hunting rifle, which got a nice little boost in the latest update to the, to the rules, to the weapons. The hunting rifle now has, I think, critical, a new trait where if you roll a natural six, you actually do two hits instead of one hit. Uh, here we have Krista with the auto rifle. Here we have Zorgi, the new leader. Zorgi's misfits. Zorgi, Zorgi, Zorgi. Now, I did give him the glare sword that we found last mission. And I was pretty excited because he's a Kirin. And Kirin have special rules for brawling. <laughs> and then with the glare sword, with its, I think it's the elegant trait. He would have been absolutely amazing in, in brawling. However, <laughs> since I did the pre-battle, in the time between then and now, <laughs> the designer, in his wisdom, has decided to say, I don't know whether it's in response to my question about whether <laughs> the Kirin actually benefit from um, Elegant. He's come up in the new weapon rules saying no. Kerin do not benefit from that rule. Ah! So, Zorgi loses the sword. The glare sword is now with Dex. Because uh, he's also fairly decent in brawling. 
Uh, so Dex is here with his infantry laser and glare sword. Zorgi just has a blade now. And then down here we have Krypton. Again, I don't think whether you, I don't know whether you can see him at the moment, but he'll probably move out of cover in a minute. But here we have Krypton. He has his shell gun, and that was seriously nerfed in the new rules. Maybe it was a bit OP before, but now, um, basically now you don't get those two shots for a direct hit, you just get the blast effect. And the range has come down from 30 inch to 18 inches. So the shell gun took a bit of a hit, the hunting rifle got a bit of a boost, the Karen lost out on a, <laughs> lost out on a very nice sword. So deployment, we have Dex, Crichton, Zorgi, Krista, and Hero. Misha is still out for another four turns, I think. And Khan was uh, the random member who can't take part in the fight. So now what we're going to do, we have deployed random deployment. Uh, I roll for the enemy to be this side. Um, I have to roll to see which of these three enemies is my target. And then we'll be able to actually start the game. But I'm a little bit worried about the... If I take one of the others out, the guy might run away. So anyway, let's see who is our target. So we're going to do it randomly. I'm going to say uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we roll. We get a six. So this, this guy here is our target. This is the guy we need to kill to complete the mission. If I kill or take out either of these two guys, there is a risk that this guy may bail, in which case I only have one more turn to actually take him out. That could be a problem. All right, so let us start the game. The enemies are tactical, just like last time, so they're not gonna run stupidly towards me. Um, also, they have, all have a 6 plus armor save, which could be a problem. Right, first thing we need to do is to try and seize the initiative. So I'm going to roll uh, 2d6. I add the highest savvy of my crew, which is Krypton. He has a plus 2. But because the enemy is um, high of muscle, I get a minus 1. So I have uh, a plus 1 to the roll. I need to get a 10 plus which I don't, so I do not seize the initiative. So we start the game as normal, no free move or free shots. So, as usual, we are going to be rolling activation dice. I have five crew this time, not six, so I'm rolling five dice for activations. Let's see how we do. That's not good. That's not good at all. Okay, so I've got a five, which is going to be a slow. I've got three threes, of which I can only use one because my reaction stats. Dex has three, Crichton has two, Krista has two, Zorgi and Hero only have one. What that means is I can only use one of the threes. So I'm going to end up with three slow activations and two fast activations. Now the three can only be given to Zor uh, sorry to Dex if I want to, him to go fast, which I think I uh, now again I, I might going going in the slow phase may actually not be too bad because. I want to see what these guys actually do. So what I will do is I will give Dex the three. The one, I, I can give to anybody. Now I'm going to give the one, I'm going to give the one to Crichton. Because the thing is that his shell gun, the range is reduced to 18 inches, which Kind of reduces its goodness, awesomeness. And you still have the blast of it, but you don't have the direct hits anymore. Um, so I'm gonna, I need to move Krypton forward, I think, in, in the anticipation of what these guys are gonna do. So I'll give the other fast activation to Krypton. That means that all the others, 
mensen, oh die abbe, ze kunnen weer slauw. Slauw, slauw, slauw. Alright. So, let us try and do something. Right, I want to move, I want to move Dex and Crichton up a bit forward a bit. So, Dex, Dex has a movement of five, which means he can run seven. Which will bring him over to there. So I will move Dex here. So Dex is gone. Uh, Crichton. I'm going to move Crichton. Crichton's move is four, so I can run him six. Uh, how far can he get with six? If he can get around there. So Crichton's going to go around. Here. Now, I'm just going to check something. Do they, are they going to have line of sight to him? Uh, not, not really. Okay, so he's, he's fine where he is. So, Dex has moved here. Crichton has moved there. No shooting. They ran or dashed. So that is the fast phase done. Now we are at the enemy phase. Now, tactical. Uh, will attempt to stay within three inches of a friendly figure wherever possible. Well, the deployment for tactical means we've got to split them into three teams, eight inches apart. So that's roughly what I've tried to do here. That's why they're so widely spread. So we'll attempt to stay within three inches of a friendly figure whenever possible. So I think they're going to try to move together, as well as doing what you know, the, 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 the flowchart is going to tell me. So. Enemy, okay, who am I doing first? I've got to do the guy who's closest, which is this, who's the closest? I think it's this guy. I think these two are the same, the same distance from the enemy. So I'm gonna do this guy first because Dex has moved closer. So technically this guy is closer to the enemy than this guy at the moment. So I'm gonna activate him first. So we ask the question, is the enemy in sight? The answer is no. Enemy within, oh sorry, uh, no. Advance at least half speed, always retaining cover where possible. We'll cross open ground at full speed. Well, again, there's that thing where he wants to stay within three inches. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move him. Now these guys have a move of five. So I'm gonna move him up to this corner here. Now does he have, he still doesn't have line of sight, but he's in a much better firing position. And he is about three inches away from a team member. So we're following the AI. We're following what Tactical says. So that's good. So he's gone. Now we're doing this guy. Uh, enemy in sight. Nope. Uh, advance at least half speed. Always retaining cover where possible. Okay, so where's this guy going to go? Uh, again, he's got a movement of five, so he can run seven. Now, he would probably run over here, I think. I think he'd probably run over here, maybe to go up the ladder to here. Or maybe come around here to ambush. So I'm going to move him, so he can run seven. So he would basically get... Again, you probably... <laughs> He's probably hidden from the camera now, but he's basically going to hide behind there. That's as far as he can get. Uh, yeah, probably a little bit less. He can get to about there, so he's gone. Now for this guy. Now this guy's the target. I'm going to assume that he doesn't know he's the target, because that could also influence what he does. I mean, if he knows he's the target, he'll probably just hide right in, in this corner. But I'm just going to assume that he's just going to act normally. So again, we've got that thing where they try to stay within three inches of a friendly figure whenever possible. So I'm going to, I think this guy would actually try to move here to be with his friends. Because there's no enemy in sight. So again, I think he would, let's just move seven. So he would run up to this corner there. So that is the enemy done. Now we are back to the slow phase. Now, Hero could have a shot. He could have a shot at the specialist. He could have a shot there. If he moves to this corner, he could have a shot at the specialist. 
But the thing is, I don't want to take out the specialist because that could cause that could cause them to bail. But the bail would always be the one closest to us. So if I take him out, this would be the guy that bails. If the bail happens. So it's at the moment it's safe to shoot at this guy, and he's the one with the plasma rifle. The plasma rifle is frightening, scary. Twenty inch, two shots, one plus one to damage, focused, piercing, and overheat. I mean, overheat's a negative, but ugh, it's nasty. So what I'm gonna do, so then he can shoot back. It would be a six to hit him. I've got a combat of plus one, so it'd be a five to hit him. Uh, it's going to be a risk, isn't it? My risks don't normally pay off. Or maybe I'll activate the other guys first. Let's just activate the other guys first. Um, Krista. I don't think Chris is going to have a shot, the building's going to be in the way. She could maybe prepare for the, for the other guy. Okay, so Krista has a move of four, so she can run six. So she can run six. She can run to there. So Krista is going to run to here. So she's done. Zogi. Zogi. Has a move of four. And again, if he, I mean, he could take a shot, but you have to move a little bit first. So I put him completely in cover. So I think Zorgi, what's he got? He's got a military rifle, and he, twenty-four inches, twenty-four inches in range, just so. Zorgi's just going to move to the corner so that he's still in cover. And he is going to take a shot at the specialist. So he is wolf, geez, just in range. Just at the maximum of range. Now he has no combat modifier, so he needs a six to hit. Because the guy is in cover. Ugh. All right, so he needs a six to hit. He gets a... You knew that was coming, didn't you? All right, so he misses. He wasn't aiming because he had to move. Oh, uh, here we go. <laughs> All right, Hero. Hero is going to move up to here. Again, so that he stays in cover. He's going to take a shot at the specialist. Now, his gun has a range of 30. So, again, in range. He needs a six to hit because the guy's in cover. But Hero has a plus one combat, so the six becomes a five. Uh, it's a heavy weapon, but he has a stabilizer, so the heavy doesn't take effect. Also has critical. Okay, so we need a five plus to hit. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. But he's in cover, because that guy's going to shoot back. And oh, Okay. So that is the end of the fast, end of the enemy, end of the slow. So now it's end of turn, there's no morale checks, there's nothing else to check at the moment. So first turn is finished. On to the second turn. So second turn, we roll activation. Activation rolls. Holy crap. Okay. Well, I've got three definite slows. Can I have anybody with reactions of four or five? I've got a two and a three. Now, these are kind of limited. Dex can take the three, and the two can only go to Crichton or Krista. But again, I don't, he's the only one that can take a three, so I may as well give it to him. All right, so Dex, Dex takes the three, the two. The two can only go to Krista or Crichton. Now, the shell gun doesn't have a direct shot anymore. It's basically you just aim for a spot and anybody within two inches has a chance of getting hit. Um, now I can shoot this corner here. That guy would be within two inches. 
it's only 18, it's only got a range of 18 inches, so if I come to there, I can't even get, well actually no, if I come to there, I can shoot over the vehicle, because again, I think shell gun should be indirect. I don't think it can be indirect. No, you've got to be realistic. It can't be over, indirect over things that are too high or too close or anything like that. But if the guy is within 20, which he is, I can actually... Yeah, so let's give it to Dex. We've got a plan. We've got a plan. And then these bots, Zorgi, Krista, and... Hero with six. The hero a slow. All right, so fast activations. We've got Dex and Crichton. Now, what I'm going to do with Crichton is I'm going to move him to here. Then he's going to shoot the shell gun at maximum range over to there, to that point by the side of the crates. Now, the area trait has changed now. Select target spot, all figures within two inches hit on unmodified, four plus, five plus, if in partial cover. So, does the heavy penalty still count? Would the heavy penalty count towards that five plus or four plus? Because it would be a 5+, plus. because if I'm shooting from there, the grenade would, would land here, and then the guy is within 2 inches, but he's behind partial cover, so this would be a 5+, plus, a five plus hit anyway. But would the, would the heavy penalty apply to that? I'm thinking yes because you've still got to get the grenade in the right place. So I'm going to assume that the heavy penalty does affect, because it says unmodified 4 plus or 5 plus. So does that mean unmodifiable? Or it's the base number that can be modified? I'm, I, again, I don't know how to read this, but I'm going to assume that it does apply, because like I say, if you're moving with a heavy weapon, you're not going to be as accurate. That's why you get the minus one. So I'm going to say that it is applicable. So it's normally the guys within two inches of the impact point. So normally he would be hitting a five plus because he's behind cover or partial cover. But with the heavy modifier, I, I think it's still a minus one. So I need a six to hit him. We go four, we miss. So he doesn't get affected. So that's Crichton done. Now Dex. Dex is going to... What's Dex going to do? Should he run around the building? Or up the ladder? I think he's going to run up the ladder. So we've got a big ladder here on the side of the building and it's exactly what, seven and a half. I say seven. I know, but he's got to run to it first, isn't he? Shit. Um, so he's going to move... One inch, one and no, take it as two, two inches to the ladder, so he can only go up five. That would leave him out in the open. Ooh, I know he'd get cover from here. Uh, so, okay, he'll run to this point, the ladder, he'll go up the ladder to the first floor, and then I think he'll just move, he'll just move over a bit so that he gets the maximum cover from here. Dangerous. Dangerous. So he ran, so no shooting. Okay. Uh, actually, that's no, really just risky. That's very risky. I uh, don't even want to do that. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Rewind. Rewind. Let's not do that. That's a bit risky because that plasma rifle's got two shots. And these guys have got combat plus one as well, so Sod's Law is, I'm going to get her. Um, there's no rule about like, diving for cover or going prone or anything like that in this game, isn't there? I don't think. Um, I can't 
I'll just keep staying up here. Can he get to there? He's got a move of seven, so can he run? He can get. Um, Quickton's in the way. I can't. Let's have a look. So two inches. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll give him here. But then again, no, but again. Ah, oh, damn. Uh, oh, what the hell? Let's, let's put him up here. Let's see what happens. <laughs> All right, so fast activations are done. Now it is the enemy phase. Uh, have to do the closest one first. So the closest guy is the guy here under the bridge. What's he going to do? He could come up the ladder and then shoot this guy. I mean, he could move to the side of the vehicle here and get a shot at Hero, but then he'd be out in the open for any possible shots there. The other option is for him to come up. What's his move? He moves five. So yeah, he can get up to here and then take a shot at Dex. I think that's what he would do. So this guy would will go up the ladder. He's got five moves. He's got enough move to get there. And he's gonna take a shot at Dex, who is within, oh shit, he's within six inches. Uh oh, Dex, you're in trouble, mate. All right, so he's within six inches. Uh, open within six inches is a three plus. He's got a combat of plus one. Uh, but a combat of plus one, so it becomes a two plus. Oh shit, I made the wrong decision, didn't I? So he needs a two plus, he needs a, yeah, he needs a two plus to hit. He hits. Okay, now this is trouble. Uh, military rifle, no damage modifier, but Dex has a toughness of five. Uh, no armor, so. Uh, he needs a uh, 5 plus to wound. Doesn't wound. Okay. Excellent. But he is stunned. So Dex is stunned. That's not good. Uh, one inch move. Well, he's, he's right next to the wall, so he can't move one inch. I'll just say maybe he slides across there a little bit with the stun. You probably can't see him on the camera now. <laughs> He's there, he's stunned. That wasn't good. Um, can you run into brawling if you're stunned? No, he can't. He can't. Because when you're stunned, you can either move or use a combat action, and brawling counts as a combat action, so you'd have to move and brawl. So he's just going to have to shoot next turn. Uh, okay, that wasn't, that wasn't such a good idea, but never mind. <sighs> All right, uh, so that was this guy. Now this guy is going to activate and he can see here, I mean, only just, it's a really, uh, it's a really tight shot, but he's gonna take a shoot action at this guy here. Oh, he's out of range, ooh. Oh, the plasma rifle doesn't have as long range, does it? It only has a 20 inch range. Oh, that's a bugger. Forgot about that. So he can't shoot at Hero. Oh, so Hero's safe for the moment. So he can't shoot at Dex because this guy's in the way. If he moves over here, he could get a clear shot. Could he get a clear shot? No, he can't get a clear shot. Uh... Okay, he's going to have to. He's going to move. To get a clear, I think he's. Can he get a clear shot if he's on? If he's on the bridge, he can get a shot. Okay, so he's going to move to here. It's a bit too far. Move back a little bit. Right now, he has a shot at Dex. Oh, Dex! I shouldn't have done this, should I? What a big mistake! So he's going to shoot at Dex, not in six inches this time. It's not a heavy weapon. 
and one's the pity. Uh, two shots. Ugh. All right, so he is shooting at Dex. Dex is in the open, but he's outside of six inches, so it's a five plus. He has a combat score of plus one. So five plus becomes a four plus. One hit. Focused and piercing. Overheat now. Overheat means next turn he only gets one shot. All right, so he gets one hit. It has a damage of plus one. Ah, oh, shit. Uh, toughness of five with a plus one modifier means he needs a four plus to wound. Crap, next goes down. What a stupid mistake. What a stupid mistake. Dex goes down. Shit. Oh, what a big mistake that was. I just made him a prime target and he just took out. Oh, okay, so I'm just going to leave a marker here. This guy has overheat, so next time he shoots, uh, if he shoots next turn, he's only getting one shot. Uh, Dex is down. Nuts. Okay. Um, now we have the third and final grunt. The guy here, the target. Again, he's going to try and get closer to these guys. So I think he's just enemy in sight. No, there's no enemy in sight. So he's just going to run to here, I think, seven inches. So he's just going to run to there. Um, no, he can't, get, he can't get line of sight to anybody, so he's just going to stay behind the vehicle. Okay. Enemy turn done. Now it is the crew's slow phase. Now, Hero has a shot. So Hero is going to shoot. He's going to shoot the specialist. He's aiming. So this guy, he's, uh, I mean, he's only in cover up to his knee, so I'm going to count that as being in the open. So he's in the open, which is a five plus, uh, plus one for his combat. So he needs a four plus to hit, re-rolling ones. We hit. Now the hunting rifle, that wasn't a six. The hunting rifle has a damage modifier of plus one. Now these guys have a toughness of four. So I need a three plus to wound. I wound, they do have armor. So it is a six plus armor save. We don't have piercing on this. So six plus armor save, no. So the specialist goes down. Specialist goes down. Hero takes out another guy. God, Hero's the sharpshooter in this game. So the specialist goes down in a pool of blood. Now, I have to make sure that I don't kill this guy because if they fail the bell roll, this is the guy that's going to run away, not the target. So don't need to worry about overheating anymore. So that was Hero. Nice job, Hero. He seems to be the reliable one. <laughs> I think his gun helps. Uh, all right, so we have Zorgi and Krista left. Now, I don't, like I said, I don't want to take this guy out. I want to focus on this guy here, so I think Hero's got to read Krista. Krista can run six, so she can get out in the open. Now, I could slide an extra d6, but if I roll a one, she's only going to get there and she's been out in the open. The other option, yeah, because the thing is, I want, to, I want to try and get around here so I can focus on this guy rather than this guy. Um, Okay, well Zorgi, again, I don't want to take this guy out. Zorgi's just going to run, just going to run to here. And Krista, I want Krista to get here, but again, if I roll a one on that, on that dice frozen, she's just going to be out in the open, isn't she? Ah, what the hell, this is a game of what the hell, taking risks. <laughs> Dice rolls be damned. <laughs> right, Krista, she's got a move of four, so she can run six. That brings her six inches, it brings her to there. I'm then going to run as much as I can. D6 inches with frozen. She gets her six. <laughs> Whee! 
Right, so she slides another six inches, which brings her to there. Very nice. <laughs> Just what I wanted. <laughs> All right, come on, Krista, you can do this. And that is that is all of it. We're now at the end phase, so we have to check morale. They've got one guy down, so I'm rolling one dice. They panic on a one. Let's see what we get. Oh, it's lucky I didn't take out this guy. Right, so this guy bails. <laughs> hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Have I just made a huge mistake? Hang on, hang on. I... I think it might be this guy that bails. Oh shit, what have I done? I think when they when you roll to bail, it's the model... Oh, I'm gonna have to check this. But I think it's the... Is it the model closest to the enemy or the model closest to their edge? Oh crap, have I just made a huge, another huge mistake? I need, I, I need to check the rules, hang on one second. I just checked the rules, I screwed up. For some reason, for some reason, I thought it was the guy who was closest to the crew who bailed. It's not. It's the it's the model that's closest to the edge. Nuts! I did it totally wrong. Oh, I'm so screwed now. This is the guy that bails, not this one. Oh crap, oh, I've screwed up badly. Right, <laughs> all right now, I've got to put a marker next to them, leave me in place for the next round. They cannot move, but can shoot and fight normally. If you fail to kill them this round, they make good their escape and the missions are oh, nuts. All right, so, I've got, I've got one turn to kill this guy or I fail the mission. Oh, now if I fail the mission, I lose the patron. I also lose the payment. But if I hold the field, do I still get battlefield fines? No, I think I have to. I have to achieve the objective to win the battle and hold the field. So, if this guy escapes, I get nothing from this. I get absolutely nothing. The game ends. If I fail the objective, the game ends. Oh, what a stupid bloody mistake. And he's behind here. Have I got any... Oh, she can run through maybe and get him? Oh, I'm in so much trouble. I've got to rely on Crichton and Krista. Hero... Hero can't see him. Zonki can't see him. Crichton has a chance with his air effect weapon. Krista has a chance... She moves here, she has a chance to shoot. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, crap. This game gives me so much stress, but I love it. I love this game, but it's just giving me so much stress. Okay. Um, so yeah, bail, shit. Um, okay, so that's the end of the turn. I will remove this guy. I'll leave the blood there. We always leave the blood there, All right? Next turn, I'm in big trouble. I'm in big trouble. I got one less, one less model. All right, activation. Let's see what happens. Too slow and too fast. Well, Zorgi can't do bollocks, so. Uh,
Krista and I've got to rely on these guys. I've got to rely on Krista and Crichton. Oh man. All right, let's do Krista first. So she's going to run through the gap here. Oh no, move through the gap here. She can move four inches. So she moves to there. But again, this uh, this guy can shoot. But I've got to take this guy out. I've got no choice. I've got no choice. I've got to take this guy out. All right. So she runs. She moves to there. She has a shot. The guy's in cover, so it's a five. Sorry, he's in cover within six inches. Yes, I'll tell you, within six inches, within cover, is a five plus. Uh, she doesn't have a combat modifier, so just a five plus, but she has two shots. So five plus. Together it's five. So Krista messes up. Doesn't do anything. Okay, it's all down to Crichton. Oh man. So he can shoot 18. Okay, so he can shoot there. Now it's a four plus to hit. Again, here's that question about area. It says unmodified four plus. So does that mean I can still add my combat modifier? So I'm applying my combat modifier of plus one, that becomes a three plus. So three plus to win the game. It's all down to this one roll. Oh shit, I don't trust my dice. I need a three plus to win the game, otherwise I lose. Three plus. <laughs> oh, oh, wait, 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 I've only hit, I've only hit him. I've still gotta, I've still gotta hurt, hurt him. All right, all right, all right, I've hit him, I've hit him. Oh, shit. Um, oh, shit, okay. So they have toughness of four. Oh, shit, 50-50 chance, oh, shit. Uh, four plus, four plus, four plus, no modifiers. Four plus, four plus, four plus. Come on, 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 come on. Yes! Oh, no, they've got armor! Anything but a six. Anything but a six. Anything but a six. Anything. I've got a one. That counts. Even though it didn't go down here, it counts. Oh, he goes down. Jesus Christ, that was lucky. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Talk about stress. I love the game, but man, oh, man. <sighs> He's down. Objective is. Objective is done. <laughs> oh God. Jesus Christ. Okay, so we <laughs> we met the objective. We have taken out the target. Jesus. By the skin of our teeth. And lucky dice rolls for a change. Uh, <laughs> however. However, 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 I'm a little bit worried now because that was the fast phase. We now have the enemy phase and this guy has an amazing shot against Krista. Hey, so he is going to stay where he is in cover and he is going to shoot at Krista. It's not within six inches, but she is out in the open. So it's a five plus. He has a combat of plus one. So he needs a four plus to hit her. He hits. She has a toughness of four, but the weapon has no modifier, so four plus. Damn, 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 damn. Crap, Krista goes down. Oh no, that's not good. Splat, and a pool of blood. Oh, that wasn't good. The thing is, I had to take the risk because we had to take the guy down and she had to go there and take the shot. In which case, she became an open target and the guy just, oh man. These unity grunts are terrible. Thank God I only rolled three of the bastards. All right, uh, that's the enemy phase. There's only one of them left after all. Now it is the slow phase. 
Now Hero has a shot on this guy. So he's going to take it behind cover. So it is a 6 plus. He has a combat modifier of plus 1. So it becomes a 5 plus to hit. Aiming. Miss. Uh, Zorgi. Zorgi can have a shot. Wasn't he? He wasn't. He wasn't on the corner, was he? Damn it, okay. So I'll move him to the corner here. He's going to take a shot as well. Still in cover, so it's a 6 plus to hit. He doesn't have a modifier, so 6 plus misses. And that is the end of the turn. Uh, I mean, there's a couple of things we have to roll for. First of all, we have to roll for morale. See if this guy bails. So on a one, he bails. He doesn't bail. But now we have to check uh, whether they actually give up. At the end of the current turn and every subsequent turn, roll. So for tactical, we're rolling 2d6. If any die is a one, the enemy withdraws and we hold the field. So I'm rolling two dice because they're tactical. If either of these is a one, then the game is over and he runs away. Because we achieved the objective. Typical. He stays. We have to do another round. Okay. So I'm going to remove this guy. Oh, leave the blood. I'll leave my guys there just in case. Right. So we now have. <laughs> We now have three guys. That was a, I made a stupid mistake with Dex. I made a terrible mistake with him. I mean, Krista, it was a calculated risk. I had to take him out. But Dex, that was a stupid thing to do. All right, I've got three guys. I have Krypton, Zorgi, and Hero. Let's, let's have a look and see what we get. We get nothing. All slow. Hmm. All slow. And slow. So the enemy goes first. Now what's he going to do? He can shoot at Hero or he can shoot at Zorgi. So let's have a look. Enemy in sight, yes. Enemy within range, yes. Enemy within 12 inches. Mm, no, not quite. Uh, close to within 12 and then move to outflank and get clean line of sight. Well, he could... Stay where he is. I think he's going to stay where he is and then aim at this guy, aim and shoot at Zorgi. I think that makes the most sense. If they have a clear shot and are in cover, they will remain in place and aim. So, yeah, he's going to shoot at Zorgi and aim. So, just rotate him a little bit so that he's looking at Zorgi. So, he's going to shoot at Zorgi. He has a combat of plus one and he's aiming. So, Zorgi's in cover. Outside of six inches, that's a six plus, so it becomes a five plus, and he re-rolls once. Miss. Phew. Well, now it's my turn, bitch. <laughs> Zorgi is going to shoot and aim. So again, it's normally a six, but he doesn't have any combat modifiers, so he's a six re-rolling ones. Reroll. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Hero is going to shoot and aim. So Hero is hitting on a 5 plus, re rolling ones. Miss. Uh, Crichton. Now Crichton could actually shoot up here. Could lob a grenade up there. Again, this is what grenade, grenade launchers are kind of designed for. So he's going to shoot up here but I think because he can't should I <sighs> so many questions about area weapons and grenade launchers if I shoot if I lob a grenade up here it's not going to be as accurate because he can't actually see the target point maybe you have to, have to physically see that no but again that's what Grenade launchers were meant to shoot over things, even if you couldn't see the target the other side. Uh, I think... Um, I think I'm going to have to say that he needs to see the target. Uh, 
because I mean, he could lob a grenade up there, but again, thinking in terms of you know what's actually going on, he wouldn't actually be able to see this guy, so you wouldn't know exactly where he is to lob the grenade. So he could move and shoot, but again, that would probably bring him. He could move. He's got a move of four. Uh, he could move to there and then shoot. I think that would work. But then you'd get the heavy, the heavy penalty. And when I shot here, did I? I didn't apply the combat modifier, did I? As well as the heavy. I think here when I when I first shot the shell here. I applied the heavy penalty, but I don't think I applied his combat modifier, which would have evened out. When I shot here, I didn't move, so I just applied the combat modifier. So if I move here, which I can, four inches, I can move to here, shoot up there, I would then have the heavy modifier and the combat modifier. I think I forgot to add the combat modifier here. So. But again, I'm probably, I don't know, I'm, I may find out I'm completely wrong in that. That 4 plus and 5 plus is just a set number, you don't modify it. But we'll, we'll see, we'll see what happens in the Facebook group afterwards when I ask the questions. So we move 4 inches, which brings me to about there. So I'll shoot the grenade launcher up here on the shell gun. So heavy and combat nullifies each other. Um, so it's a 4 plus to take him. Again, I'm just trying to work around these rules and seeing what's working and what's not working. So it's just a four plus. Hits. Toughness of four, so four plus. Wounds. Uh, armor, six plus. No. Down. He goeth down. Plop. He goeth down in a pool of bloodeth. from a grenadeth. And that, my friends, is game over. We hold the field. Again, I've got a few questions about the grenade launcher, but um, I think I've tried to do it fairly by applying the negatives and the positives to the rolls. But like I say, I, I've got a suspicion that those the, the rolls for the area effect, the four plus or five plus in cover, I don't think you're supposed to modify those. I think they're just set values. So your combat skill, the heavy modifier, I don't know whether they actually apply to it or not, but we'll see. We'll see how, how it goes when I ask the questions in there. In the forum, so we hold the field. Zorg is heroes, but at what cost? Krista and Dex are both down. <sighs> All right, see you in a few seconds for the post battle rolling. Well, that was <laughs> that was a pretty close battle. My own stupidity really kind of almost lost me that game. Running decks up there, I honestly thought I had better cover, but you know, Unity Grunts are pretty tough enemies. I mean, they've got all got a plus one to their to their combat. They've got armor. They've got decent toughness, decent move. They've got decent weapons. That plasma rifle, oof, nasty. So yeah, um, Dex kind of paid for my stupidity, but we, fingers crossed, let's, let's see what happens on the injury roll. Um, but yeah, we managed to take out the guy. Now we are at the post-battle step. So we managed to hold the field, yay! We managed to achieve the objective, yay! But let's see what happens now. Post-battle, we are only doing nine steps this time, rather than the eight that we have been doing the last couple of times. We are doing four get paid, five battlefield fines, six, this is a new one, check for invasion. If you're up against an enemy that has the invasion note, there is a chance they may be invading the planet. So you have to check for that, but not for us. Gather the loot, determine injuries and recovery, experience and character upgrades, purchase items, roll for campaign event, and roll for character event. We've had a mixed bag of these over the last couple of missions. So let's see what happens. So the first time, first thing we have to do is we have to get paid. So to get paid, we are going to look and see. Okay, so we earn D6 credits in pay, loot, bounty, or salvage. 
If you finish the final mission of a quest for blah, 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 no. So we add plus one, nope. If we won the mission by completing the objective, treat any roll of one or two as a three. I think every single mission I've done so far, I've got a three. But this is a patron mission. And since it's a patron mission, we are getting a plus one. There is the notes. So yeah, here, private organization, the Janus group, we're getting plus one credit. So let's roll and see how much we get. So a one or a two counts as a three. Ooh. So five plus one is six. I'm rich. So we've now got 17 credits. I'm rich. Wow. I think I might actually buy a couple of blades, to be honest. Because uh, I think during the um, purchase items, I think blades cost one credit each. I might actually buy a couple of blades. All right. Blah, 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 blah. Let us... Let us see what else we're going to be doing. So let's get paid. We got paid. We got 17 credits now. <laughs> What's next? Battlefield finds. If you held the field, yes, we may find something. So roll percentage. Right, so I'm rolling yellow first. We get a 74. A 74. Debris. 1d3 credits worth on the scrap market. More money! D3. Two. I'm not going to complain. So we've got 19 credits. This is going too well. Something's going to screw me up. I just know it. The game likes trolling me. <laughs> okay. More money. What's next? Check for invasion. If the enemy you just battle is an invasion threat, you must roll to see if they're invading. No, they're not. Uh, next, gather the loot. Roll once on the loot table to see what you've earned. Uh, so, all right, so we roll on the invasion. Sorry, the <laughs> invasion, the loot table, page one three one. Let us see what loot we find. So, percentage yellow first. We get 16. 16 is a weapon. So, we roll again to see what kind of weapon we get a zero zero. Uh, grenades. Mm. Grenades are one use. Uh, okay, percentage again. 41. We get three frack grenades. I've got six frack grenades now. Because I've got three before. So, so six grenades. Meh. Could have been better. Could have been worse. I'm fine with that. That's okay. Right, what's next? We've gathered the loot. Now we have to determine injuries. Oh my god. This is the bit I hate. This is the bit I hate. Uh, okay, so who are we going to do first? We have two guys who were injured. We have Krista and we have Dex. Let's do Krista first. Let's see what happens to Krista. Right, percentage. Yellow first. 47. Uh, 47 is a serious injury. No long-term effects, but D3 plus 1 turns in sick bay. Oh, damn. All right, so serious injury. D3 plus 1 turns in sick bay. Oh. 3. 4 turns. She's out for 4 bloody turns. What the hell? <sighs> That's not good. Okay, um, Dex. Oh shit, Dex. Okay, I hope Dex. <laughs> Come on, Dex. Come on, Dex. Oh, Chris is out for four turns. Okay, Dex. Come on, Dex. Uh, yellow first. Come on, Dex. Seventeen. Seventeen. Equipment loss. Random carried item is damaged. Uh. What's he carrying? Infantry laser and glare sword. Okay, so one to three, it's the laser. Four to six, it's the sword. And laddie knew it. Okay, so the glare sword is damaged. Now I'm actually a little bit worried about the repair because <laughs> I've got this rather nice battle dress armor which is damaged. I. 
I'm worried about I'm worried about repairing the bloody thing because if I roll a one, it's gone. <laughs> it's damaged beyond repair. So I've got a glare sword that's damaged. I've got battle dress that's damaged. A handgun that's damaged. Oh no! But I mean, nothing actually happens to Dex. It's just his equipment that's gone. So he just got bruises, basically. Okay. Oh, damn. I've lost the glare sword for the moment. Crap. Ah, oh, and Krista is out for four turns. Ah. Oh. She'll be back about the same time as Misha. That's not good. Okay. Uh, what's after injuries? Experience and character upgrades. Okay, so for experience, became a casualty, you get plus one. So Krista gets one and Dex gets one okay uh, survived and one is plus three well Khan wasn't there Zorgi gets three hero gets four because he took out the first enemy Crichton doesn't get XP and Misha's in the sick bay okay okay okay, okay. Uh, that's all the XP uh, any upgrades? Four is not enough to give me anything, is it? No, four is not enough. Okay, so no, no upgrades this time. What's next? Experience purchase items. Yeah, I think I'm going to get some blades because I'm I'm always worried that we're going to be up against beasts or animals who basically just rush in and brawl. Um, so blades. Okay, so I can pay three credits to receive a roll on the table, or I can purchase any number of handguns, blades, colony rifles, or shotguns for one credit each. Ooh, shotgun could be nice. But I think I'll just get some blades. So how many blades do I need? Uh, one, two, th three, four, five. I don't want to get five. I'll get... She's out for four turns. She's out for four turns. One, two... I'll get three blades. I'll buy three blades, so this is now down to 16. So, blades times three. I'll, I'll allocate them. I'm basically going to give a blade or a hand weapon, a melee weapon to everybody. Because, like I say, I'm a little bit worried that I'm going to come up against beasts at some point who are just going to charge in and brawl and cut me to pieces. All right, so purchase items is done. What's next? Roll for campaign events. Okay, campaign event. Uh, yellow first. 89. 89. You got noticed by somebody you'd rather avoid. Add a rival. Are you, are you kidding me? If you're currently on a quest, no. I add another rival. Oh, you... Oh. So I got another rival, another rival, sugar. sugar. I've been swearing a lot in this video. I'm going to have to put beeps everywhere. Oh, nuts. Okay, character events. Uh, select a random non-bot, non solus even if he's in the sick bay. Okay, so ignoring Crichton. One, two, three, four, five, six. Five. This is on Hero this time. So what's going to happen to Hero? So, character event. Percentage, yellow first. We get 65. 65. Oh, that's what I got happened with Zorgi. You get hurt while working on the ship. Spend one campaign turn in sick bay, And the ship takes one whole point of damage. Well, the ship is actually armoured. Yeah, the ship. The ship is armored, so I take one less hull damage every time I take damage. So it doesn't take any damage at all. But hero is hurt sick bay for one turn. Now, in the pre-battle, he will get that back. So he'll be available for the next battle, but he won't be able to do any crew tasks. Nuts. Oh damn! Again, that could have been worse, but it's. Oh. Not brilliant, is it? Also, 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 I'm losing 
a patron. When I did the pre-battle, the corporate patron, the condition was a one-time contract, so I lose him. So this guy is gone. So I've gained a rival and lost a patron. <laughs> uh, he couldn't make this up. So the corporate is gone. So now I've only got three patrons. I've now got four rivals. And good news. <laughs> next mission, we're basically just doing everything. So next mission, the rivals could interrupt the mission that I want to do. See, I want to do... I want to do... Uh, this mission, the local government ones, plus two credits. Uh, and I have to, I had basically had to do a mission, a patron mission before, but I can do this one now. But with four rivals, I think I have to roll, and on a one, two, three, or four, the rivals attack me. And I have to do a rival battle instead of a patron battle, which means I would then lose that patron job. Four rivals. I've got a four in six chance of getting a rival attack me. I can do decoys, I think, crew tasks. I think there's like a decoy, decoy to kind of reduce the chance of the rivals actually interrupting. But okay, we'll see what happens next mission. Okay, guys. I, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed watching my stupidity. Uh, poor Dex. He damaged his glare sword because of my mistake. Um, but luckily, oh, I, I, hate, I hated having to rely on the dice. But we achieved the objective. Mission 5 is done. We have some money now. We have a little bit of cash. Not a lot, but we've got some. Um, bought, a bunch of, bought a bunch of blades. I've got some grenades. Um, another member out injured, but not too bad. It could, have been, it could have been a lot worse. So that is Mission 5 done. Join me soon for Mission 6. We're going to roll up. Uh, the enemies, we're going to do all the pre-battle and then we'll see who we've got for the next battle. So guys, thanks again for watching. Keep an eye on the channel. Lots more coming soon. Uh, please take a moment to like and subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything. It doesn't do anything to you. It doesn't hurt you, but it really, really does help me. So guys, please take care of yourselves. Stay safe and I'll see you in Mission 6. Cheers.